right into the action. My, oh my, I wasn't ready for this. Boom, it's in simple. I've opened the round up and they're all the way up in A. Jeez, talk yeah. about, you know, hitting the ground running. Oh, they're sprinting there. Navi are not waiting for you. That's to say the very least. Heroic are locked out of this pistol round and there's nothing they can do or say about it. Double short side. Navi's not even giving them the peak, giving them the time of day. No kick currently either. You just want frags at this point. Cracked out, out from under. Ooh, ah, it's not going well, but he can stall or he can just swing and finish the job. Cadian alone in ladder. And he'll stay here. Keeping that armor, saving for the orb later, perhaps, but it's denied by Electronic and Na'Vi. That is a, a statement pistol. That is a, a way to start a semi-final. They want blood, and they want Danish blood. Well, they've already got some. Yeah, something that is kind of interesting here, you know, is that uh, Heroic currently flawless in the uh, in the Pro League. They've won everything that they've played. Uh, meanwhile, Including last season. Na'Vi have, uh, have copped an L to big, uh, and that was actually here on Mirage. It was one of the maps that they ended up losing to them. So maybe that gives you some hope in Heroic, but man, I don't know, Na'Vi are looking fired up, yeah. right? Uh, and Blade might have come out and said, yeah, you know, we're, we're not really thinking about the Grand Slam. We're trying to just focus on playing our game, but... It's got to be in the back of your mind, right? Even if Blade isn't thinking about it, I don't know if that's the case for all the players here. I think it might fire you up. Mm. It seems motivating, motivating for Bit as well, right? You know, new player to this level of competition. First LAN event wins it, mate. Easy. Tier 1 LAN. And now looking for even more glory, even more trophies, even more money. And can you blame the guy? Na'Vi go from a lights out pistol to a slow second round as they try and find these deagles of heroic stacked up on A right now. Tessa's trapped in on the B-bomb site. Na'Vi, this looks like an A split right now. Top con to remove info for heroic. But heroic aren't going to budge. They aren't going to move away from this setup. In fact, they re-smoke it. They say, you want it cut off? Well, there you go, another one. Na'Vi don't care. Flash through, in they go. Yeah, they're pouring on through, but they are playing into Heroic's hands. This is where the four-man stack is. They're trying their best Ooh. to dismantle it. This little double setup of Refresh and Cadian is able to tip the scales in favor of Na uh, in favor of Heroic, rather. Simple will late lurk up through the window and narrowly win his fight out over Stown. This bomb is committed to A, so you've got to clear out the site. They're first going to try and oh. deal with Tessez, but they can't find him. The Deagles are doing it for Heroic. Electronic and Simple are both so low. And even though these are the big names that we often look to, at 8 and 12 HP, they are the walking wounded. They're running out of time. Simple with that kill. Now is a chance at the bomb no. And Oh my, he's coming with another. They're both inches away from death, and yet they're the ones to take control of that round. I mean, the best duo in Counter-Strike right now, Harry. Simple and electronic, and there's no question about it with a round like that. That's a simple-esque play, man. He fakes it, and he goes for the CT fight. Electronic's calling, man. I've got you. I've got your back. I've got your CT. You can stick it. They also knew that both of Heroic were in CT spawn because Cadian got the scout off there early, and then Tessus came in with a deep shot onto Bit as well. So that was all the info for Na'Vi. The slowdown was good there. And you felt like simple to find the second round for Na'Vi. It was also a great little example of like trading those peaks and swinging in the order that Heroic just weren't expecting, right? Yeah. Like Cadian yeah. gets stuck trying to trade the site player and that's exactly when Electronic swings out and they double peak him. It's just so cocky, man. Like Simple dies there, he loses the round. But of course he does not die. Electronic doesn't want to either give this AK over. He's called for his entire team to come back to hunt the kills and Simple wants stats. He wants them all. Electronic doubles up as well. A refresh alone in window already having crossed. But as that smoke fades, there's nowhere to go. So he's going to leave before it does. Oh, dropping under. Easy peasy for Boomich. Na'Vi take a flawless third round. A lot more clean than the anti-force buy. But this was all a means to an end. Here's the first rifle round for Heroic. Yeah, and it's going to feature that AWP out on Cadian right away. You know, I think a big player we've got to keep an eye on here is Refresh, obviously, right? The guy who, who broke Team Liquid, the guy who broke the very rules of Counter-Strike by yeah. winning that one on five in round 30 last night to get them here. And, and he's been the top rated player for Heroic at this event. Uh, and, you know, I think it's going to be very important that we get mileage out of him.
to counter this Na'Vi squad. Missed, missed window, window smoke. smoke there, and it yeah. let Cadian get that opener for free. We've been seeing more and more of those as of late. I think it's because more teams are coming up with ways to throw that window smoke that aren't just out of like the traditional bin position, right? They'll actually do it from spawn. I think Yakind is a good example of a player who can you know, throw smokes from seemingly every spawn in Mirage, but of course there are always going to be little inconsistencies. And they really hold Na'Vi back in that round. Cadian gets a pick out mid. Baker, another example. They they have uh, smokes for yeah, this the majority stacked. of spawns. Yeah. And that's just to get it in as quick as you can, right? Because if you want to cross to where Electronic is, he's in the position to line up that smoke. You just look towards it. Like, that's going to slow you down. It means you can't take your mid spawn immediately. And, you know, in Counter-Strike, every second matters. Every millisecond, even at times. It's an A split. Boomich going to walk through his own top con smoke. We've got a passive setup for Heroic. They can afford to play this. It's a retake round. Cadian's away from the action right now. Let's see if Na'Vi can get the bomb down. Yeah, Na'Vi have tried to misdirect Heroic towards that B bomb site, but losing Boomich out through con. Simple, we'll trade it out. He's currently 7-0, still yet to fall, but finally Cadian will tame that beast. Still got Electronic and Perfecto left to worry about. And Shush trying to buy time back in CT. Electronic dead on the swing, and that's the bomb as well. Perfecto now in what was a one on three up against Refresh and Shush still to beat. And they know about this CT player. Time oh, is running out. The flash comes in, and Shush peeks on the back of it. Heroic, the guns come through, the AWP comes out, and they find their first CT round right away. Yeah, they do a really good job of actually holding onto that bomb site. It was, if anything, a retake-ish setup for Heroic, right? Styles able to get one from jungle, just finds a single from the CT spawn, and when you know you have lost all that control of your Na'Vi, plus Caden rotating window with the, uh, with the AWP, you just can't get comfortable, you can't get situated, you also can't get the bomb down. Time eludes perfecto, and the round as well. Heroic on the board, sooner rather than later. Don't want to let Na'Vi get off to the races, right? Run away with a heavy T-side start on Mirage. Many teams don't like even picking this map in a BO3 for the reason of risk, right? Everyone knows what they're doing. Heroic are no exception. We've seen it let teams like Complexity down at times, going for the Mirage pick. But Na'Vi, full faith in the system. Have to see if it's worthwhile. Window Util coming in again. Stown has to smoke Con. Heroic once more. How they won that second, or almost won that second round, rather. Are stacked four up on this A site. Big risk to take, but Na'Vi have taken the bait. Yeah, with Cadian orping short, he's still going to be able to get involved at helping this A bomb site, right? The smoking Con cuts off his sight lines into the site, but meant he could do something about this lurk out of bit. But since up oh. and left, Tessez looking wow. for the swing has now taken Palace control away. Na'Vi have got to go. They don't really have these options still open. I'm waiting back at ramp. Boomich pushing into the site. He's neck and neck with Refresh, and he will find him eventually. They're still looking for this Palace player. Bomb's leaving. 30 seconds left. They're going to try and make this rotation happen over towards B because Bit has secured the bomb site. Now, it is so important that Bit doesn't die here. We've seen this betray teams in the past going for these last second rotates, but no one's coming back for Heroic. Eventually, that penny's going to drop. Yeah, Heroic are just so out of position. I think they're just hoping, they're gambling the Na'Vi go for the recommit, right? They go quiet on ramp, they push back out late with 10 seconds. That's not the case. And Heroic are so far out of position. That now they've got to bring everyone back over. They don't know how deep it's got. When you realize the bomb goes down there, you know that's because Na'Vi already had a player in the bomb site, and they must have hit a really good timing on you. It's not just blind luck. It's by design. And so that will force Heroic's hand. They just sit back on A and keep their guns. You know, going for this retake means you lose all your money. So, a very dangerous decision, and you can't blame them for saving. We've been seeing you know, more and more saves as Counter-Strike progresses. And, you know, you can't, uh, you can't argue with the results. It does keep you, uh, keep you buying on the CT side. Na'Vi, 4-1 up, though. Nice little lurk from Bit. No kills, but all the impact that Na'Vi needed in that round, they were walking completely into the stack. 
Yeah, you know, I think it's also worth drawing some attention to Boomich on that little uh, ramp push. If he doesn't get that A kill onto, uh, on, onto Refresh, I don't think you even see the rotation out of Kadian in spite of the utility going over, right? It's only once they lose a player there that they call, yeah, it's looking like the A play. We've seen the bomb at ramp. Boomich is in the bomb site. So Kadian's pulled around. Oh. Now out into middle for Na'Vi. Tempting to take this control away. Stown tries his hand at a comp peak, but it's always scary. We might get a clash of these AWPs as that smoke in top mid is revealed to Kadian that there's a player here. The flash only confirms it further. Now Simple is also in the top of middle. We have yet to see the orbs go head to head. And we might be on the verge of getting it now. Kadian's gonna flash himself for a peak. Na'Vi leave middle altogether. Yeah, timing of that, right? Bit of a tease in middle, but it's now the A smokes here for Na'Vi. They've got a good bit of util. They've thrown in some mid defaulting, and now they're going to go back to A smokes. Bit again, lurking B. So if things get weird, if Heroic try and get info and aggress, he could catch this kill. Timing is everything, though. If he doesn't go back to B, he's going to come in through connector, and they could backstab him on the way out. Bit, how long does he last in this position? Navi are already out the A site. Good flash for Shush to take out that ramp player. Boomich won't get his pick this time around. A bit has missed the timing. It's Perfecto still holding T-spawn. This has come up to a close for Navi. It's a very weird round. Perfecto needs this frag, but he's dropped off mid. Now they've heard it. It's only confirmation B is not the object of Navi's desires, they will be recommitting back into this site. Yeah, and this should be Tessas this all day long. Perfecto dead in middle. And at this point, Navi is sweated. I think they realize that this round should be undoable on the back of the yeah. info that Heroic have, right? That they've just cleared you out on the B apartments push. Bit missed that timing. And so you realize the odds are it's a full stack in this A bomb site. Sadly, that's not actually even the case, right? Heroic never pushed. Yeah. And actually cleared, you know, lower. They were still worried about this lurk from bit. They were still considering a potential B play. So there were only two in A, but Navi aren't to know that. And given the info they have, saving seemed like the best route. Yeah, so some of that you imagine is them being burned from that, that lurk round for bit, right? Because Refresh is still back at E-Box inside of B. And bit's very lucky there. He dies a second before the timer expires. Uh, check the clock there. So he does get his bonus money, does get his loss. That enables a rebuy better than a Galil, although Refresh wouldn't have you believe. Simple, maybe a ramp pick, double nade, molly combo. He doesn't want to get involved, not yet at least. Kadian's back in triple with the orb. Always keeping it fresh is this CTAWP. Kadian's going to be all over the map in this game, keeping you guessing. Contact out for bit. Still yet to frag. This could be his round. Yeah, he's out deep, maybe deeper than they're ready for. Shush gets the better of him, wow. and these apps pushes are really starting to hurt Na'Vi. Heroic are really keen to take this map control now with how these last few rounds have gone. You know, they very quickly piece together. It's usually nothing more than a lurk leaning towards this B bomb site. Maybe expect that to change for Na'Vi, look into the future. Right now, they've got a minute to play with and a three on five. Yeah, again, these are the kind of rounds that Navi like to save in, man. And uh, you couldn't you couldn't argue against it. Oh, not going to get the choice. Simple. How does he hit that shot? Two health, getting out alive, and even knows about Stown, plus a further player back in CT who threw that flash. Boom has just taken a lot of space. Almost backstabbing the window player, but instead it's Stown to die under. And Boom is just ready for another. Kadian hits his shot. And Simple on just a myriad of health, 1v3. Surely no way back in. Picks Kadian though, there's a start. Yeah, it's so low though, right? And even tapping the oh, ball yeah. is enough time for Tessez to swing. He doesn't doubt it for a moment. He knows that he's got that little window where Simple's gonna be pulling the orb back out, even if it is a fake. And so he swings out on the back of it. Heroic not wanting to get burned by playing those, you know, XV1 scenarios too safely. Seeing as they seem very well acquainted with how that can fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> you had to bring it back up, huh? Yeah, you I'm know, still gotta... having nightmares about yeah, it, man. Right. You're still having nightmares about it. It's funny, Taka came in with that tweet to, to Shox as well. Yeah. With, uh, the Luminosity G2. Basically clutch. the same round. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same round from, from Shox here at the back of B. It's happened before, it will happen again, but never quite when the stakes are that high. Yeah, so this is what we expected, right? A bit of a B lean out of Na'Vi in this round. They know that 
Heroic have been keen to take this map control away, and so they throw a bunch of pistols over here, and they say, look, if they're pushing, maybe we get the kill. Maybe we gang up on the one player going for information. Heroic, that feels all too obvious now, right? They're not going to re-aggress. Oh, dear. Kadian, can he hit this? Oh, hits the leg. He needs his teammate in the middle to clear this up. And so Refresh will. Taps them out of the round. It's a nice little clean anti-eco for Heroic. And it's what ties this game up at 4-4. Four to four. Rebuy for Na'Vi, though. It was always going to be a lost round, right? They would have... Maybe even considered saving in that previous gun round, but the kills came to them. And a clutch is too much to offer up. Always temptation for Simple, who is starting strong. He's now on the Krieg. No AWP. Could have bought a builder, had no utility and no helmet either. So safer option to have a bit more depth. This time the window smoke lands, but Kadian volleys it. Tess says aggression, and that's a lineup in middle. Kadian gets a collat with that little gap in the smoke by design from his Molotov. He's immediately back to the B site. He wants to see if Na'Vi will react off that kill. And no, they won't. Holding off, Na'Vi have a minute and a half. We know this team to play the clock. This round should be no exception, though. This kill, Electronic V, Refresh, pushed up ramp side. The refresh looks away at the wrong time. Electronic puts Na'Vi back in the favor. And it's all a bit of a fake out right now. If Electronic can start lobbing Util into A, keep some heroic players there, there's a chance for this bomb to get out B. Kadian's very, very anxious about Bit, who, or, you know, about what Bit has been doing, right, in, in crafting paths through this bomb site. Anyone could be in, he tells himself. And they're about to be. Instead of electronic faking, he's going to join them. He started this round off with a collateral, and now the Cyclops of Kadian is looking for even more. He's cleared out the van. Oh, what are you going to do, Kadian? What are you going to do? <laughs> he's looking in. Just scoped up. Oh, little Ooh, jump, and he didn't see anything. Now, that could be misleading, and they hear him repositioning. Perfecto knows that he might be able to hit a timing here, but throwing that flash gives up the up push. Oh, Ooh, now they dear. deal with Electronic on the short wrap. You are not out of the woods yet. Kadian posted. Oh. Missed shot initially. There's more coming his way, and Boomich hits the deck. Ooh, Kadian just getting himself out of danger, trying to play the 2v1 out, trying to play with the mind of Perfecto. He's got 12 seconds, fakes the bomb plant, but now time is running out for Perfecto. The molly only slows him down. He runs through it to tap again, and there's the first kill. No. But Kadian does not have to give this fight over, and so Heroic steal that round away, finding five. It oh. all starts with a little collateral, and it ends with Kadian winning to time. Yeah, sometimes safe is right, Harry. Who knew, right? It's so situational, but great play from Kadian. And yeah, Na'Vi, that's such a what-if round. We saw it ourselves. Kadian went for that jump. He got miss info. He walked out. Oh, he ran towards B short. Navi hear it. Instead of just peeking and shooting him in the back of the head, maybe they think it's a bait. Maybe they think both heroic players are there because Perfecto instead flashes himself out into the B site. That gives Kadian warning. The reason Perfecto's doing that is because Electronic's out mid and it, Perfecto's just trying to cause a distraction. But Electronic's caught through Con. The one health shush will keep that round in the favor of heroic. Boost up, you have no idea about this, and you've been baited by a jump. Perfecto gets out of dodge at least, but if you late recommit to B, there's always refresh to worry about. It's a lean this time. They know the money's low, and so B is often the better site to go to. It's 007. Well, so in, in Na'Vi's, you know, more recent losses on Mirage, one thing's been consistent across them, and that's quiet games out of bit whenever the losses have come through. Okay. That does make me a little worried for this beginning. Oh, the flash and the lower is clean and Shush doubles up. Boomich is doing whatever he can with this Deagle. Oh, he but dinked it. But it's not going to be enough. The, the dink through the corner of the top mid boxes puts down to 10. And yeah, he said it's not enough. Well, oh, hands, hello. Nice fingers you got there. They're gone now. Six to four. And this was a strong start for Na'Vi, but we've already forgotten about it. Heroic had come back in swinging. And this AWP for Cadian is not a slow starter. It certainly was yesterday, right? We talked about, we kind of hyped up the Fallen v. Cadian head-to-head or, or, or battle. Yeah, it didn't it really, never really deliver. came through no, until yeah. that three. Against this will, of course. Everyone else can bite. Nice jump for Tess as he's up mid immediately. The aggression into Palace has not profited heroic. b -Apps aggression has been good. Yeah, alternative, not so much. If Stan went there, they were holding. And they still will be.
bit just wants to get on the board. Sometimes the first kill can reinvigorate you. And even if he gets it, it's all a bit of a temptation into Cadian's Orb, which is also stuck down lower. They're going to decide to aggress, move back up into a bit. And oh, Counter-Strike timing. It dictates, of course. He's going to go back, though. Double swing. Navi are ready. A bit on the board. But do they know about Cadian? No. He trades and he gets out alive. That might just force Navi's hand to hit the B-bomb site. It's empty. Yeah, outside of Tessa's on shore, that's really the only guy who can have much of a say in this B take. The Molly is pretty good. It slows down this push. They smoke it off. They try to go. Oh, but now Tessa's and Kadian woo, getting kills. Leave us in an even odds battle at this B bomb site. It's simple and perfecto to try and get Na'Vi through. This nade could be big. Simple just gets out of danger and it tags Perfecto even lower. There's still an incendiary on Cadian as well. This could be used to force an unfavorable fight oh, out no. of Simple, and that's exactly what it's going to do. It forces some sort of swing. Oh, does it spread? It's a little shallow, and so Simple's allowed to hang out over on the bench position. Half the time ticked off this bomb already. Heroic can't wait anymore. They've got to go. Simple, a lot of damage. And there's Perfecto with the closer. Cadian one on two, looking for a way back in. But he can't find it. He can't find either of these players. They're so elusive. Just dancing around the bomb site, never offering up that peak. Yeah, those post plants are B-man. It's like a maze. They're just trying to figure out which side of the site they're on, chasing them down. And the Minotaurs of Na'Vi won't let you get the gold. It felt kind of inconsequential, like how that molly fell a little shallow, yeah. right? Like, so close. You, you imagine that maybe that's something they consider, but they don't at all. They're led to believe that that bench position is clear. Simple even attempts to play a bit of trigger discipline, right, to get away with as much as he can. And that forces that wide swing out of the second man. Perfecto to close it with a double. Oh. And Na'Vi are back on the board and now looking B-bound. Hiroka made risks this game with stacks, right? But they've often done them well this time. It could be their undoing. Refresh gets back into B just about as Na'Vi set up these smokes. They aren't committing. Remember, they waited for that underlurk before they did anything last round. Bits on the same position. Electronica's shown face towards A. He's going to come back, though, once again. And Hiroka has not been against taking middle. It will be that B play. Na'Vi eventually going to commit full smokes down towards the door and the window. It's only refreshing the bomb site. Na'Vi aren't going though. They're taking back mid and Kadian just sat in the flashbang there, not moving a muscle. It's a freebie for Boomich and it's setting you up to fake out A. Na'Vi can still pump back into this B bomb site and Heroic seem to think the same. Look at that mini map. They are running for it. Yeah, they don't believe it for a second. They are full gamble again. I love this call. And now Fia committed. The bomb is going in on the back of Electronic. Even though they deal with refresh, there are a lot more Whoa. numbers here, or so there were. They all get brushed aside in an instant. And so Na'Vi walk into the stacked bomb site. They emerge with all the glory, all the treasures, and a sixth round on the board to tie this game up once again. Oh, dude, Na'Vi, they just want all the glory, don't they? They want all the kills, and Bit's going to try and increase that stat line. Get back in. It's denied by Stown. He must have heard the run from Jungle, and now they're coming for him. Now they're fully sending. He's holding for the jump or for the boost. Stown is one step ahead, but he shoots between the legs, and Perfecto gets that AWP out of play. How did he read that? Hey, it's down, yeah, it just built different, man. Yeah, just one step ahead. Even so, not going to mean much. Nutmegged our Na'Vi, and they'll laugh as they score. That's, yeah, Acadian, he's just hoping he can long out the flashbang to a point where he catches them late out mid, but, but Na'Vi, they don't wait around after throwing that flash in. Yeah, and you know, that's kind of always the Na'Vi way. Like, they're, they're, they're slow, they're methodical, right up till they're not, and then suddenly they're in your face, they're explosive. And, you know, I think Cadian's just kind of hoping that that's not a committed flash. That's not someone peeking with it. Maybe it's an info flash over middle to catch aggro. You haven't really seen anything out of Na'Vi trying to take mid in that round. And so Cadian's got the hero AWP here. It's crazy how Heroic keep going back to these A stacks round after round. They're just trying to read Na'Vi one step ahead. Like, they're leaving B open so much for a CT game of Mirage. And, you know, they've already been burned by it with Bit lurking through B a couple of times. So Heroic, full faith in the system. And once again, they're right on the money. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice uh -oh. opener. The boost over the smoke to find Bit. Now we need to turn our attention to this Cadian Orb. How much can it get away with? Oh He's scoped up looking at round. There's a late swing that he nails. Perfecto taken out of the round. 
Kadian's feeling the pressure Save now, especially it. as he's losing his teammates. He's in a one-on-three, and he's just going to try and hold on to that AWP. It was risky bringing it in. It's there just in case the pistols get away with more than they should, or Kadian's able to arm them. But with that not happening, it will just be this save. And so Na'Vi retake the lead, 7-6, to six, starting to find their way back into this now. Yeah, the second wind in the T-side. We know Heroic's T-sides have been phenomenal this event, though. So Na'Vi need all the rounds they can get, really, on Team Mirage. And they're hunting again. They've done a good job at removing orbs from Heroic in the rounds they win. But this one is a little out of reach for Electronic. Clearing B does not give him the time to check under. So it will have to be an A player to do so, and no one's looking interested. That was a bit scary. You know, we see those Ecos fall apart when the first kill comes in for the, the Ecoing team. You know, it can snowball. You get a lot of trades at this level, a lot of, you know, five on fives down to 1v1s in 10 seconds or so when those executes come in. So definitely ways for that round to get out of control with this little boost over the smoke for Stown. But luckily enough, Na'Vi hold on. And the AWP does continue, so the danger avoided for now. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little worried about this second half of play, you know, when we have the uh, the CT Na'Vi, especially if, if Bit keeps up this quiet performance, because Heroic really aren't above, like, just bullying the bomb site yeah. of the guy who's struggling the most, you know? And, and they will try to milk you drive as many rounds as they can on the back of it. Kadian, he hits the hard one, he misses the easy one. That's got to hurt, could have made the ladder jump. Boom, it's just, he's just been smoking this volley, and I like that as well. It's, it's better to smoke it than just wide swing and face. You know, Rug have been keen to fight middle with a lot of numbers as well. So, yeah, it wastes the smoke. It gets in the way of your game plan, but it keeps you in a five on five. And Navi love bleeding the clock with these, uh, you know, 10 alive rounds. No rush to get that first gunfight. Wait till it comes to you. Yeah, and on top of that, you know, in rounds like this, it kind of adds to the misdirection, right? Heroic aren't really swinging mid, but they hear that Molotov get smoked, and now they go, okay, Na'Vi are taking middle. They've just been flashed in the apartments as well. So, you know, piece by piece, this is starting to feel like a mid to B, and, and that's why we have this triple B lean out of Heroic. Uh, you know, thus far, what they've seen is mid control getting taken, flash into the apartments, and that's got them a little bit paranoid about this B bomb site. Now, with nothing being heard or seen after that flash, they're already getting suspicious again, but Boomich has worked his way up into the ladder room and is now looking a flank window. Refresh has just missed this timing. It's something you still have to consider, right? You know you've been out of mid for a while, and now you hear the oh. drop down. You know that this is the A split, but look at this. Boomich is racing them, running along with the pack of wolves. Oh it's my goodness, Bit! Kalian falls right into him, and Perfecto has opened up on A. Bit might have had a very quiet half, but those kills in middle could have saved this round for Na'Vi. Ten seconds, and that bomb is trapped up in Palace. Uh -oh. oh my god, it's turned on a dime. Simple, can't find the wall bang. He can't get this bomb down, oh. and it all falls apart. Shush and Tessez pull through in a very big way for Heroic. Oh my goodness. How does that round not get won by Na'Vi? They know exactly where Shush is stuck behind CT. He's been winning so many rounds from that position. But he got all the info and completely caught Katie by surprise with the underlurk. It's one way to do it. Tessis as well has been saving rounds from short side as well. Coming up, con on retakes and really making problematic rounds for Na'Vi. They don't have the util to cut off any of these A parts. And, you know, when the rounds come to the final few seconds, this is when we see Na'Vi get burned, right? Not having smokes, not having enough position to get an open plant or even a safe one. Fast out Rafa Boomer, she throws himself at Shush. It doesn't go well. Na'Vi are going to commit, though. Yeah, they're trying to change the pace, right? As you say, they've been burned by the clock time and time again, and so they're hoping this round by accelerating they can find success. This is a weird fight over in calm between Kadian and Perfecto. They are both in the mist, in the smokes. Kadian's going to use it just to get out of there and try keep alive. And now Na'Vi grind to a halt again. It might have been, you know, explosive to begin. And you know at least this is going to have shuffled Heroic around a lot, as well as wasting a lot of this utility. Yeah, and the longer that goes on, the more they fear B. That's why they sent out this info man of refresh to clear under and wrap back to B. But if he turns around here to clear apartments, it could get scary. Electronic is just entering middle, luckily enough.
This entire round is up in the air. It's in limbo. You, you got to give Kadian some credit for how he's been calling this CT side, right? It's very dynamic. It's very mobile. And, and Na'Vi, it makes it very, very hard to do these slow plays because you're never really sure what the mad lad of Kadian has called in these stacks. This round, it's another heavy lean towards the A-bomb site. Uh -oh. They're gonna learn about Tessas. He might just get spammed out here. And that will be the case. Still a double CT setup. Made onto Electronic. It does damage, but it's nothing to write home about. And Simple is gonna nail that follow-up shot. A two-on-three retake for Refresh and Cadian. I mean, Refresh has done it with a Galil. How's his Famous looking? There's one. And suddenly, Bit and Perfecto are left up in a two-on-two. -two. They might both be low, they might both be tagged, but with Cadian's orb still in play, you know you're not out of the woods yet. Time is a factor. Smoke onto the bomb. Kits on both of these players, so someone's got to get on it soon. Bit with the late Palace swing. See if that keeps up. Yeah, already you're gonna know, right? Pretty much full armor out of Heroic, apart from this uh, the smoke flash combo for Cadian. Might look to see, you know, one of these B plays, one of these mid splits out of them as a result, especially with the early apps control taken. Kit's on Boomich right now, so that means it's over here, deep within the A bomb site. That's something to bear in mind as we get into the nitty gritty of this pistol round. If this is indeed the B play, it looks to be. He's going to find himself away from the action, but at least that kit stays alive. Slow start out of Heroic, though. Nothing explosive out of the gate. And Shush is starting to take more and more liberties over here towards ramp. Simple gets that mid spot, and so... Now coming in through the window is also considered at this point, Na'Vi, no heroic or attempting something in mid, but Stown's going to best simple in the head-to-head. -head. Okay. And so now with the big name removed, there's this smoke going over middle. This is to set up Stown for a late lurk. He can try cut off rotations from here. He can try be a nuisance in the back line, what? but Boomich through the smoke has found him. Here's this mid to be, I promised you, right? Kadian coming in late on the short side. Bit's dead as long as his teammates are able to distract. Bit gets shot in the back, and now short is open for Heroic. A man down in RV coming into this one, three on four. And Heroic goes still like statues, man. They won't move a muscle. They'll wait for you to come to them, and Na'Vi have to move fast. Kid on Boomish. Kills need to be found, and Electronic walks into the double setup. Boomish needs a double kill, or this round is done. Perfecto, given nothing from the site players, and Boomich the same. He's got to come to them. There's a kill to Cadian. Still a player close market. Refresh with a tray. Perfecto in a 1v1, and Refresh will lock it down. Of course he will. Heroic level up the score. 8-8, eight to eight. anyone's game now. A massive pistol to find. And especially after, you know, Stout may take down Simple, but the revenge is there, and Na'Vi got the info almost immediately. Look at that shot. Doesn't mean a damn thing, though. With Con smoked off, Kadian gets the perfect timing for a short backstab. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got to be feeling good when you beat Simple in window like that. You're like, that's just a huge sigh of relief. Yeah, he was ready for that spot as well. Scout out. All right, Simple. Oh, scout oh. Uh, oh, electronic. Why, baby? No. And now he smoked them off in jungle <laughs> as well. Okay. He tanks that shot that was meant for Stout. It's not lost confidence, right? Like, it's one thing you can say about him. Yeah, okay, when he was 0-8, he was, like, you know, running passive rounds, holding under, but Na'Vi, you know, they were slow on the T side anyway. He's trying to get involved, trying to get ahead of the smoke. Electronic has pushed top mid. He missed that under timing of Tessas who's going back. But if Tessas tries to run the rotate, he'll be heard. Luckily, just holding on right now, Na'Vi have gone to reinforce that B site. Boomich is going to find out the hard way that this is A. And other than this flank for Electronic, which is too late to have impact into this round, it feels like Na'Vi, from position alone, might be locked out of this one. Gonna need a multi kill from Electronic. Oh. Boomage, maybe he can do it. Oh, that's one way. Two D shots to the head, spam it till they're dead. And now Electronic's flank is more potent than ever. Yeah, this could steal the entire round away, right? We need a Boomage to step up. He delivers. Electronic with a kill, dropping the bomb. Tessa's dead on the con lurk. It's 13 HP okay. down, and he can't find a thing. 
that is huge out of Boomich, yeah. right? It's not every day you get these big Boomich moments, but that was one of them right there. It is the defining moment of that round. If he dies, even like a one and done wouldn't have really been enough. It buys time for the rotations. It gives Electronic even more to get away with on that flank. Yeah. It, it's just so huge. And even after you get it and you're traded out, you've still left your team set up in the lead to play retake on that A bomb site. That's everything. Navi managed to convert their pistol round on the T side. Heroic are not quite the same fate. Bit boosts himself up to ladder. Kanin can do it. It's got the moves. Electronic got to be smooth and connector as well. Boomich has helped out. It's pushed up on Catwalk and he's so quick to that position. Kadian's caught off. It's down one on four. Deeg's out and no one giving him much to work with. Bombs down and con. If Na'Vi don't like what they see, they can run. But instead, they'll just run at him. Shows how much I've been affected mentally that I'm just not willing to write this round off. <laughs> like, every time a heroic player's in a 1v5, I'm just going to be saying, well, you know, we've seen them do it before. <laughs> That's what they've done to me. Imagine yeah. what they've done to everyone else. Tell me, don't the board, care. They're yeah. not going to give you that respect, though, right? Like, look at how they're hunting down the four on ones, right? I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, microanalyze. Oh, Liquid should have just all peaked him, but you know, at the end of the day, Navi just don't give that room. Navi don't give that respect. Ten to eight, pistols out. This should be a freebie. Yeah, this is just like, you know, attack pause. We, we we know what this is. You know, you're just hanging out. You're talking about the next round. So Heroic are not really in a rush to do anything. I think now is a great time to address as well. Anyone who was saying, oh, that 1v5 from Refresh wasn't even that good. <laughs> it, was, Why even? it was because I think it has to be said in that, mate, what are you talking about? He 1v5 them around yeah. 30. I mean, we've never I seen, don't... like like Yanka said in that in that uh, pre-match, pre rather, like the context of the clutch yeah. is even more impressive than the clutch, it feels like, in a way. like. And also, you know, to, cro to quote, not quote, to quote the great, you know, Messioso, yeah. um, Graham Pitt. Yeah. He did say that, you you know you you don't win a one v five you misplay a five v one but it's like that is kind of the essence of all clutches like yeah, you can break any clutch down and go oh well, this was an error this was an error it's like in the heat of the moment like when you're five v one you ain't expecting them to win it you're focusing on your own thing and refresh still have to do the damn clutch yeah imagine capitalizing on every error made <laughs> not be looking to do so in middle yeah right this is this is, should have just been a mow down and that's exactly what it is that's exactly what it is shouldn't take any damage here and simples even tapping them out with the usb to close oh he didn't save it now a real g would just go for the one tap but you know four kills oh, that would do simple that's fine i'm happy with that as well so critically right we're not going to get to see that orp straight away that was a, that was a real feature of heroic ct side right they look yeah. to bring it out from the get-go well the money just isn't there for the, for them to do it over on this t side so it's going to be rifles and, and i really looked at that orp as a big reason a big turning point in the heroic CT half. Well, it's going to be missing for now. Na'Vi won't have one either, but they've got the cash to bring that out whenever they would like. Heavy A setups. It's the bread and butter we saw it for heroic. Na'Vi going to throw those A players into middle to get involved. Electronic has been a great player in this game, but he is shut down early, and Kadian's out Palace with no fear in the world. Boomich can't get that spray off. Shush is so quick to trade as he runs through the smoke, and A belongs to Heroic. Na'Vi have already thrown in the towel, unless Bit can get them soaking again. The kill's not come to them. Stiles picked up the bomb. He's going back through T-Spawn. Now, there are lots of plants available that Bit could try and stop. The worry is, even if Perfecto attempts to get involved from short, Refresh is here to cut that peak out. They don't know about Stown. They can only presume. And if it's a safe triple plant, there's nothing he can do except spam. Perfecto's a dead man. And there's Refresh working his magic. It's only bit. One on four. And he even misses the freebie. Nade might do it for him, though. Is that temptation enough? No kit. Yeah, I mean, even if you're able to keep Heroic modest, that can feel like a victory in a way, right? Especially because you're set. Smoke on the bomb, he taps it to try and bait these peaks and bait them, it has Ooh. bit.
takes another to the grave with him. And that's at least going to force a lot of reinvestment out of Heroic, right? Their buy here might feel a little incomplete considering they just won the damn round. Especially talk about, you know, slowing down the Yorp, right? Making that come through later. And Arcadian still finds ways to get impact without it. But uh, you would still want that sniper in your arsenal. And yeah, losing players like that is too surviving. Technically not a profitable round for Heroic. But they're fine anyway. They're building back in. AKs here. Na'Vi have got Simple's AWP right and ready to go. That smoke fell a little bit low for Electronic. It's not really going to be a one-way mid. He knows it. He gets out. He was getting spammed from under as well. Simple's even got the con off, really trying to get involved, but Tessas has flashed middle, and are we going to decide to give that one up? Lots of pressure in B in the meantime. But then it goes quiet. Yeah, I love these little mid setups from Na'Vi, right? It's three strong. You've got players covering the lower tunnels, top mid. Electronic can swing if any flashes come over, if contact is made from the short side. He's here to help out. And so there's that double swing, right? It's not Electronic to get the kill, it's bit, but he's alive on short, and that's going to come to matter a hell of a lot as this B play comes in. Bit dead with nothing else done. And so Perfecto hiding out at the bench. Oh. Crushed upon by Refresh and a missed trade from Simple. Leaves him and boom it. Oh, now just Simple in the 1v3. He hits the ground running with the first. Oh, make it a double. You don't want to let Simple get back in. Shush coming in on a big wrap right now. It's only Kadian left in this bomb site. Simple, is he aware that he's getting wrapped through the market? They're right behind him. He oh, finds the site player, but a missed flick, and Kadian will get his AWP one way or another. Heroic are here to play. They take us to double digits. Oh. They lock in 10. And now that money that was swelling for Na'Vi, well, it's starting to get pushed to its limits. Yeah, you get a shiver down your spine after the first two shots. You feel it coming through, but Canadian does not let Simple find that round. Even if he went down, the, the flank, yeah, probably catch Simple off guard there. You never know, though. You just never know with this yeah, guy. Yeah, with Simple, I, I, <laughs> you're never ready there yeah. to go, yeah, he should know. He's even going to buy orb, an orb into this one, right? He's feeling it. He's confident. He's got the funds for it. But no Molotov means a smoking window will bloom and Simple has to move. Yeah, so how much can Simple do alone? They are coming his way. They are coming into B. So this is a real test of Simple Zorb. First shot misses. Oh, now they're 10. getting closer. The Mac 10 shut down. And they might now elect to leave this B bomb yeah. site. You see Simple there. You hear pistols firing off. You go, yeah, no, I want nothing to do with that. But Electronic has heard them running away. This is everything right now. All right, that's going to allow for the early rotation back out of Simple Zorp. He's already at the A bomb site. He has beat Heroic to this position. Shush has been timing the little, but will that oh, work in his favor in the long I think run? So. Tessa has drops Boomich out, and now they're taking over the site. Simple. Is he ready for KD and going up and over? No, he's not. Taken out, losing that head to head. And now the A bomb site secured for Heroic. Oh, that's such a painful round for Na'Vi. Electronic as well. He was in under. He could have even taken a kill with him. Heroic with knife out running back, but he thought they would drop under. It's the closest way to get back to A. And a massive lurk for Shush as well. Not just cutting off the rotates. When Na'Vi was set up in con and in window and two in CT, which again, he heard. He had that info that Simple was there. So that's why Kadian was able to take such an audacious peek with everything else covered by Shush. He's really the, the MVP of that round. It's akin to when Bit just walked through B in the T side, but Na'Vi were getting crunched at ramp. Right, you spot that orb, you want to get as far away as you can. And changing position is enough to get Heroic on the board yet again. 11 or Na'Vi's map pick, and this T side for Heroic has started to pick up steam. Yeah, it really has. Uh, you know, I mean, Heroic, I, I think, they struggle to find reasons not to believe, right? Electronic traded out down here in COD. And Tessez is oh, running it the whole damn way. They're oh, not the ready for this aggression out of uh, out of Heroic. Oh, they're simple with one back in favor of Na'Vi. So a three on three. Facto actually smokes Simple's line of sight off. That's a bit of a oh. weird one. Would have loved to have had that smoke now. <laughs> 
Low on health and trapped in a corner. Tess has started this round with a double, and he's hungry for even more. Waiting up close, a wolf in sheep's clothing as the attention is drawn towards oh, the bottom dear. side. There's one for free. Simple. Trades it out at least. He's done everything in this round. Now you just got to try get it over the line. Cadian still to beat, and he's won a lot of these head-to-heads versus Simple. Back Dropping off, they know about it now. But there's this mid flank coming in for refresh. He's gone around the world. Oh, oh, no! it's almost the lineup, but instead, Bit's got it into a doable situation. Oh, now, Cadian won't let him back in, won't let Bit build confidence. Instead, he's tearing it all away. And Heroic are in the lead 12 to 11 on Navi's map pick. Oh, that's a roller coaster of a round, man. You never know quite where it's going to go. What a what a play, what a call for Heroic to just do that fast con split, right? Navi tried that in the last round of the half and you know they won that round but it didn't work out initially they had to go slow and wait for a moment that one tessa just gets up con immediately the ramp player molly's close tetris with a ramp smoke down you know boomich is going to be playing there he's always close on that a site and so they molly him out for tessas he gets another pick and like you said that smoke coming down to block simple did no favors forced navi into a con retake which is exactly what refresh wanted on the big flank yes it was ugly but he killed simple it was good enough now it's Na'Vi broken, battered, bruised, and having to take an eco. Heroic know it better than most. They've got refresh on the map. You know, I think it's easiest to uh, to really like see the contrast between how these two squads approach the game in these T-halves, right? Like, Na'Vi feels so respectful in how they play, and it's really, you know, all about this kind of grandiose, slow, methodical strategy building towards a finish line. Well, Cadian did a great job of calling against that by just offering a lot of gambles, a lot of, uh, you know, attempts to do wacky, wild things. Meanwhile, Heroic, it's all about, like, no respect up in your face, making the aggression work for them and just making the opponent feel so uncomfortable. And this round is no exception. Not even a smoke down. They do have the top concert, but they leave window open and they rush this B bomb site in. They deal with simple. They're still a bench player, but Shush looks ready. And so Na'Vi can't find it with the Ooh. pistols. Bye. Just Boomich left, and they're going to leave him at that B-bomb site to really soak up this scoreline. Yeah, I like how Tessa stays as well. They've got him not only locked in B, but they know there's guns down. They don't want Boomich to start getting armed. Also, funny to see Refresh on the MAC-10. In that interview yesterday, after the win versus Liquid, he said, like, yeah, uh, you know, the, the team laughed at me because I don't like to play MAC-10. I don't really like to spray. Uh, and that's, you know, it was it was a follow-up to the comment about, you know, oh, the Galil, how do you, how do you find the Galil? And, yeah, he's not a MAC-10 fan, as as it were, but he's the guy jumping out of apps there with it. Either way, enough pressure in apartments, a bunch of util thrown before it drew Navi's attention out for the real hit, which was up short. Boomage would love this gun, and he's run out of ammo in the fight. Unfortunate stuff. It's 13 to 11, heroic crunch time, and they're hungry. Yeah, I, you know, this is going to be like a, a, a real test for, for Bit, and and in a way, even Perfecto, right? Even though he is like much more tenured than Bit, uh, you know, th these guys, while they looked good at like Lamb, for example, this is like a real test because this is such a huge pressure in building to the uh, to the Grand Slam victory, yeah. right? And, and you don't want to fall short here. You talk the talk, but now you got to walk the walk. And we do have these two guys a little quiet right now. We still got like the, like a trifecta of players stepping up, and that's what makes this heroic scoreline that much more impressive. And on top of that, you you were talking earlier about how you know Kadian's not one who's going to be against calling into the weaker players or the newer players. Well, Bit and Perfecto, your B guys, right? Bits up on short often. You got Perfecto playing that anchor role. He's not really done anything when it's come down to B rushes. Perfecto's not even been going one for one. That's a big problem, especially as Heroic set up yet again for another B execute. Perfecto, we've been seeing him just drop the bench smoke and back up and they clear him out every single time. This round has to be different, Harry. This round has to be Perfecto holding strong. Bits here as well. Simple's deep on short. He can 180, but this is a bit of a fake out right now. Simple's worked it out. He's dropped Tessas. Now Electronic, the bomb's up top middle. This kill wins you the round if you find it with ease. But Shush ain't gonna give it for free. Refresh probing that he sides. Perfecto, a better round for him. Above his own smoke, catches Refresh. And suddenly Na'Vi are back in the swing of things. Yeah, that's a real feel-good kill for Perfecto. You know you put a stop to the B player. Now, you know, your teammates who are having a good time of things, they're able to just clean up the rest. You did your part at B. Electronic and Simple have held down this mid-area. And Heroic are left saving here. They can't win this two-on-five, and they know it.
You know, even though... <laughs> I hate having to say it, but, you know... No, they can't win this one. They can't win this one, and they're not and looking to either. Yes, yes, exactly, Harry. Uh, you know, it's, if it was round 30... Yeah, maybe. Maybe they'd give it a go, right? You kind of have to at that point. But this one, yeah, you're playing the long game, you're playing the money game. We would see rounds in CT side when they were saving in four on fours, right? Just uh, being out of position alone. Nice hop to dodge death from the orb down below. And Electronic Cycles AK is out of position. Not the heroic need. Anything more than what they've got. Yeah, I kind of thought you were cycling it to Boomich, yeah, but Boomich no ran away. Yeah, no went for it, yeah, um, no one went for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You want to keep five life. Electronic the says, the yeah, there's an AK in Carter. Boomich goes, wait, there's an AK in Carter? I'll go save CT, don't worry. No, that's not what I meant. You want the money, you want the money. You need five alive. Na'Vi, like, we've had second wins from them in the first half. We've we've had that now for Heroic with a streak of five in a row. That is Na'Vi breaking said streak of five. They can't afford for it to be on one and done. They need to build. Yeah, critically, it was a very clean round for Na'Vi, right? And if there ever was a way to win them, that's what you want to be doing here. It dodges that reset opportunity, which at a scoreline like this, mate, resets can just decide your fate. Yeah. So that's a very big deal for Na'Vi. They also lean simple towards this B bomb site early. This is something we've seen them do more and more. You know, what with this B site looking a bit problematic? You are always a little bit worried, right? The downside of having simple dedicate here early is like, well, what if he's just completely out of position? You finally get dealt one of these, you know, A, a splits out of heroic, and that might be what they're looking to do here. Got this early palace control. Shush has held on to that since the start of the round. And now they're starting to work middle as well. Have we got a boost? Oh, I love this, dude. I love this boost. I haven't seen this in years. Going over the top of bench to peak deep apps. If you're a rug and you're walking a contact B play, there is physically no way you would be seeing this. You would be ready for this. It's essentially a free kill, but it will never come through. Heroic will group B early with no kill getting offered up. Na'Vi's passive CT side. They're going to have to deconstruct the boost as Heroic set up in mid. Yeah, and it's still this triple B lean for Na'Vi, that big worry about, you know, well, what if you finally get dealt one of these A plays? That might actually come through after all. It's a nice molly throwing out yeah. from CT to force these players out of connector. Here come the A smokes bits, trying to hit a timing. Ooh. Nails the first, but traded swiftly by Stout. They might have discounted Perfecto, but he's missed his opportunity. Simple okay. will not miss, however. Oh, makes it a double. Simple, okay. not quite the third, but he's dropped the bomb, and that Live. should be enough to win the round. Perfecto takes that fight there, and that does make me nervous, but he gets it. And with the escape, with the aversion to Shush, he's going to lock in and equalize up for Na'Vi. Oh my god, Shush is just doing everything he can to save the day right now. That double kill out of nowhere, Simple, it almost felt like his third shot connected. He got leg eventually uh, and that scary round like you said after bit died on short they were not ready for perfecto he had a, a perfect position to you know win the round right this there. round's so important for both teams right with that last round coming down to a 1v1 and like the save out of heroic both squads are pretty broke here like, a loss for either team ruins them up against 14 it to the opponent. It makes you overtime, almost yeah. guaranteed. Like, depending on how the round plays out, maybe if you do enough damage to justify rebuy and you get a plant, like, you might want to double buy. But essentially, whoever wins this is, is more likely than not getting up 15-13, and then the other team's going to buy full and try and get that bonus play. We've not seen Ace Smokes. Na'Vi, full retake setup. Locked out now by Utility, or at least they're about to be. But they've got the grenades to play retake. The earlier in the round this is, the better it is for Na'Vi in the sense that they won't have wasted their Molotovs, their nades, to get back in. Miss Flash, and every bit counts. Yeah, here's the uh, the dump of Util in towards A. They leave CT open looking for this fight, and you would have loved Simple... Oh, sorry, you would have loved Kadia to have nailed that shot onto Boomich. Boosting up over okay. the stairs as the smoke fades. They've almost thrown these on a bit of a timer. Now both those smokes are out, both those smokes have faded. You've only got one left on Tessas to try and get you across. This oh. is actually a little bit rough here. You've given yeah. time for the rotates. You smoke off Com, but you don't know what's happening in jungle. You can't smoke off oh. CT. You've got to win your gunfights, and they will take the first. Traded out by Bit, kept even. Boom, it's dead, swinging at triple. And so now the bomb's down, simple, scoped up, looking for a means to an end, looking for a way back in. Through the smoke, and Perfecto wins that fight. That might spur Na'Vi on to Not give again. this a go. Stout is playing the long game, going around the world and all the way oh. in towards middle. 
Refresh. He spots Simple and brings him down low. Simple is left running away to save this AWP because it is going to be the bulk of what Na'Vi have up against 14. Oh, he no. needs to escape with this. He's getting hunted. Oh. And Refresh knocks him out of the round. Oh, with that happening in the fashion that it does, yeah. getting tempted back in, almost comes back to punish Na'Vi. I, I think that, you know, if Perfecto doesn't win that fight in Connor, you're three on four. I imagine you just save with three. Uh, and, you know, then they get that kill. It spurs them on to go for the round again, but with Heroic closing it out and finding all the kills, it has teed them up to reach 15. Oh, everyone threw themselves into gunfights that round, right? Shush running into the, the jungle. Boomage getting flashed out CT, chasing kills there. I mean, that pretty much denied you the chance of play. Simple at the bare minimum needs to save this AWP if he's not going to win the round alone. They rush him down in middle. They tried oh. to play to the advantage <laughs> of these pistols. They were not ready for Simple's AWP. No flash to get him out. Yeah, he is stuck here. There's not a smoke either. So that Molly, he's going to peek with it. He's going to cross or else he's going to burn alive. Oh. Simple can't get out of there. And now they've just got to beat the pistols, but it's easier said than done. A two on four. Na'Vi doing everything in their power to win this round. Simple started it, but now the pistols have to close. Refresh is getting whittled down and is out on an island. All alone, he's drawn rotations over to B. He just needs to take as many to the grave with him as he can. No. The answer is none. He finds nothing. Stown, one on three, up against the scavenged weapons of Na'Vi to find 15. Boomich is already in CT with this AWP, but he's not going to peek. He gives the respect to Stown and lets him plant this bomb. That's scary. Don't want to let a clutch elude you after Simple set you up for success. Bit two kills and an AK as well. No kit, though. Stown's very open. It's not the plant for him, though. He's got to kill everyone on the cross. Here they come one by one. Bits dead. Stown sees one, make it triple. Where's that all gotten to? Stown can't stop them. They're on the defuse. As long as Pubic hits the shot, it's an unlosable round for Na'Vi. They come through with nothing but an AWP, and Na'Vi still pick it up. We said that was a guarantee. We said if Heroic win the rifle round, they're at 15. That should have been the case. And even though Simple gets mollied out, two is good, but it's not a one round. The Cadian to tilt the advantage back in favor of Na'Vi in a very big way. And so now it's Heroic who are broke at 14-14. They've all in this. Overtime is not on their mind. But if they lose this, it should be Na'Vi securing this map after all. Yeah, oh, double ramp setup as well. As I, I'd love to see Boomich play first here. If he does, they're never going to be ready for Electronic. Boomich is often this deep ramp player. It's Electronic covering. But it's got the info. He saw at least one, but not the bomb. Cadian glass up. Electronic sees something. Oh, he's going to spam. Oh, it's so close, and he's converted a kill. Shush dead. They try and chase him down. Refresh drop. The electronic heard every footstep, every sin single audio cue. Tess is playing. Trigger discipline to find two, but he doesn't finish the first, and he doesn't come to regret it either. Ramp man, and Tess can't clear it. It's only Cadian's AWP. For a second, Tess put that round up in the air, and now Cadian up against the world. Yeah, but if only we had a great, you know, Cadian AWP clutch or Mirage to refer back to versus a CIS <laughs> squad. Ah, nothing springs to mind. Here he is trying to get this bomb planted. Perfecto might just deny it on the swing, and oh. there it is. Locked out. Na'Vi onto 15, and as we say, that was all in for Heroic. They put it all on the line there with that investment. Na'Vi are back in control. Heroic is scraping the bottom of the barrel to try and make this work. Yeah. This was nice from Electronic. Tessa's his little lurk out into the A-bomb site. This could have been the turning point, right? He gets two. He was even, you know, cognizant of that ramp fight, but... Yeah. Boomich locking it in really did just seal the deal. I think the call is as well, like, you know, Boomich is up, you know what he's up to, right? He's always deep on A, so there's definitely awareness there for Heroic, but that, they get the bomb plot. That's big for Cadian, but, oh, it's not pretty. It's not the buy you want against 15. We've seen the most obscene of rounds in this position, though. Hey, think of Heroic versus Entz. Back on Nuke, it was Cadian with a solo AWP and four pistols to convert that round of 15-14. A similarly difficult round, but this one even more so. Hell, you've not even got armor on refresh. Tessas has been gifted the gun. Shush is on a Mac 10, and your util is not enough to brag about either. Heroic, slow it down.
Yeah, it almost feels destined to be a B play, right? Just because of what you're fielding here, right? It is these SMGs, it is these pistols, with the exception of Tessez. And this B site was so good to you earlier on. We have these smokes going in over middle. It's for Khan, it's for Window. And so I'm assuming it's a mid to B split, perhaps. They're going to first try and take this mid control away. First, it's with all five here. Na'Vi are also worried about the B play, and rightfully so, right? They've stacked three towards this side of the map, but this is where Heroic are going to go against the grain. They're taking Connector. They made it look like they wanted to go mid to B, but now they flash over top Khan and look to run oh, down yeah. this A bomb site. The oh, pistols, no. they find openers. Still, Na'Vi keep it in their favor. They want this win. They want to put Mirage to the back of their minds and move to that second map, and Simple might be the guy to make it happen. There's one from him. Tess has thrown into another clutch. The AK, it's got to serve him well. He gets behind oh. triple, but he's so damn low. That molly might oh. decide it. And there's bit to close. Na'Vi, they lock.